welcome back YouTube. This is Robin here from Skincare Tactical. Today I have another Triple R review for y'all. Today we'll be reviewing the Real Barrier. This is the Essence Toner Hybrid. Uh, if you guys saw my comp video uh, with this and the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, you guys already know I am in love with this product. Uh, my lady gave this to me uh, about a month ago and I've been really running it uh, just kind of on the side. And I think the more and more I try it, it's just really been uh, kind of transformative. I think the more and more I use it, I, I like it more and more. So anyways, we're going to be going through the four step process per usual. First and foremost, we're going to be investigating the ingredients deck. Second, we're going to be looking at the formulation, composition, and packaging. Third, we're going to be looking at the value, especially against, you know, uh, products here, both in the U.S. and abroad. And last but not least, would I buy it again? So. You know, when I was looking through the ingredients deck, uh, it's, it's, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Uh, some of the major ingredients, obviously, is glycerin, and it's got some sunflower seed oil, and it's got some sodium hyaluronate, and other hyaluronic acids. So all that is kind of in like the top 10 of the ingredient deck. So that's why it's so kind of unique and uh, hydrating, because it's not purely a toner. It's like a hydrating toner. Uh, it's kind of following the footsteps of the Laneige, but it is different. Uh, if you guys see my comp video on that, the Laneige is kind of, um, it has like this like little film. So after you put it on, I remember the first time I put it on, I was like, what the heck's up with the oil? And it's because it has that metal, fe metal foam uh, seed oil in it. That's what makes it very hydrating, but also makes it very oily. The difference between that and this is this doesn't really have uh, that metal foam seed oil. Instead, it uses sunflower seed oil. It's a little bit different. It's going to feel different. It doesn't have like that oily residue. Okay, guys. Um, and also in the deck, there's there's some other cool stuff. There's like citrus or citrus orange oil. It has other root oils and lavender oils. And you know, also when I was looking through uh, some of the ingredients uh, uh, from other like websites that sell this product, some of them had these last two linalool and limonene. So I don't know if they removed them in the newest composition or the latest composition of these uh, formulas. Sometimes these companies will change the formula without even letting the public know. Uh, so I'm not really sure about that. So that's just a quick disclaimer for y'all. Um, if it doesn't have those last two items, it would be a perfect ingredient deck, guys. But because of those two, I'm kind of giving it like an A minus. All right, guys. So step two is the formulation, composition, and packaging. Uh, this packaging is a sample size, a little mini size, a little mini me. Uh, it doesn't have any issues. I've never had any leaking with it. You know, I, li I like the small little little nozzle, you know, you guys can see a little nozzle here. This is my style because, you know, I just kind of force it out with my arm and then just like bam, bam, just, squ just squeeze it out. Uh, this bottle isn't really soft enough to like squeeze. Uh, so you just kind of have to just just use, use your muscles, man. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and peep this out. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see this. It is semi-watery. It's, it is dripping, but it's not like... It's not like a regular toner, guys. Like I said, this is kind of a hybrid toner. Uh, these companies are trying to simplify uh, their products or actually just make it better. So there's, there's kind of two ways to look at it. Uh, you, can, you can think about, um, you can think it as a way of uh, better products, like a better toner, like, a high, like an upgraded, like level two toner. Or you can think of it as like simplifying your kit. You know, someone like me who's acne prone, um, who, who's combination oily, less is more for me. So I want to, uh, in the summertime, especially in the summertime, I use my toner a lot just to like get rid of the sebum and the dirt and oils. So in the summertime when it's like super blazing in California or if I'm traveling abroad, especially in humid climates in Europe or in South America or Mexico, wherever I'm at, if it's super humid, the toner is kind of like my, what I use really just to kind of wipe off my face and to refresh myself, you know what I mean? So this is a good kit for that. Uh, I, as far as like formulation, it's really, it absorbs so fast, it's already like dry. So it doesn't leave any, any of that sticky feeling that uh, I got from other, other hybrid toners, namely the Laneige. Uh, but, but I mean, I don't want to bag on the Laneige, that's an excellent product too, guys. So it's not like, I mean, just, just you're, you're really just picking hairs, you know, you're just, you're just really picking things apart at this point. They're both A plus products. I, I feel like they're, they're game changers in the, in the skincare game. I think other companies are going to quickly follow suit. Uh, because you know you're putting better stuff into their toners. The toners are not just a basic. Uh, traditionally, it's been just a water-based pH, you know, balancing, you know, step. But 
now it's it's really just transformed so you know these kinds of skincare products healthcare is always developing guys it's always developing you know i was just talking to a dermatologist about tretinoin and like there's different kind of formulations these chemists put together different formulations that have lesser side effects it has better properties so just you know keep, keep me out keep me you know keep me updated in your in your loop subscribe hit the notification bell i'll let you guys know what i hear from my folks down in the hospital and my colleagues okay guys and as far as the packaging wise i mean it's it's a mini size um you know i, I think it's fine uh, i mean if you're going to use this as like an everyday thing you might just get the big one you know save 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 some money just get the big one uh, it's it's not a big deal so jumping into step three is is the value and price so this one is coming at thirty dollars thirty bucks for a hundred and ninety mils guys that's it's a ginormous bottle, okay? That's that's like six ounces, over six ounces. Uh, that's typical for toners. Toners, you're not going to be spending a whole lot of money. So I always tell people for toners, just get the get what you like. Just get the best. Like, you're not gonna. It's, what's the difference between thirty dollars and forty dollars or fifty dollars? Like I, I I run the Amore. It's fifty bucks. It's kind of a bougie luxury brand, but what's another twenty dollars? You know, that's like you know three cups of coffee for most of y'all out there. You know, so. It's great value. My cousins love this product, you know, in Korea. Real Berry is very well respected because of the ingredient deck and its value. So I give it an A plus for value. And last but not least, the fourth step is would I buy it again? Of course. <laughs> of course I'm gonna buy it again. So uh, like I said in my in my comp video, I'm definitely gonna be running the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner and the Real Barrier, oops, the Real Barrier uh, Essence Toner Hybrid. I'm gonna be running this in the summer primarily as my everyday kit with probably sunscreen over it. Uh, if it gets super hot and dripping, like that's what I'm gonna be doing. So so that's my full review of the Real Barrier Extreme Essence Toner. Uh, you can get this on a lot of K-Beauty websites. Make sure they're legit, that they're coming from Korea or a, um, a recognized authorized dealer in the, in the United States or wherever y'all from. Please like and subscribe, hit, hit the new notification bell. Peep me out, y'all. Peace. <laughs>